are you from? My name is Amber Wittenberg, and I'm from Toledo, Ohio. Uh, what is your class or department affiliation and rank? I'm a sculpture major, primarily, but I also do a lot in jewelry now. Um, I'm a fifth year senior. It's my last semester. That's awesome. Uh, can you explain what kind of art you are pushing for as like a primary interest, whether it be sculpture or uh, jewelry? Um, I would have to say it really depends on the inspiration that I get for the piece. Some pieces call more to be worn on the body, uh, more for like a personal trinket, and sculptures are more of an experience to me. So those are um, usually a more involved art form. That makes so it just sense. depends. Awesome. Um, Let's what kind of art, artist, trends, styles, or topics really inspire you when, when you work? When I work, um, let's see, I get a lot from surrealism and dreaming. Those are the two main ones that I pull from. I'm also interested in um, metaphysical properties of crystals and things like that. Also synchronicity and symbolism. So like when I'm working on a piece, it might seem really scattered at the beginning. You just have to push past that um, initial step. And then things just sort of fall in line in life. Like, you'll find the perfect material you needed in the perfect quantity. And yeah, so I'm working more along those organic lines. Awesome. Um, artistically speaking, what are you trying to uh, achieve with your works? In my work, I hope to awaken a part of the viewer that they dismiss on a daily basis. We're always busy with our faces and our cell phones or like, you know, even going out to the bars. I like them to take a, a bit of time to find a part of themselves that is a little hidden um, and maybe give them more food for thought so that they can have less stressful things to think about. That's interesting. Uh... Briefly discuss three of your works that you uh, really connect with or highlight examples of your uh, your style. I'm going to have to name four. That's fine. The first one would be my piece called Tear Catcher. Um, it's a jewelry and metals piece that um, the wearer, which was myself, would um, position it right here and you could cry down into a glass vessel on the wrist. Um, that piece is another example of like the organic synchronicity happenings while making. Um, the next piece would be Dream Pilfer. It's a cheesecloth bag. It's like a dream catcher you wear it in your ear at night and then the dreams contained in the bag in the morning or whenever you wake up and decide to use them, um, you could squeeze out of the bag and harvest them to use their raw energies. Um, and sculpture wise, I would have to say my sculpture Rapunzel is um, pretty typical of my work. It was made a few years back um, containing human hair, fur, um, cast glass, cast um, iron, and it's like a fairy tale piece. Oh, okay. Dealing with ego. And then the very last one is called Aura. It was my obsession with this particular color that translated itself onto different planes and made a full composition in a space. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.